Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to exploit a Windows Vista system with Core Impact 8. Now, before we actually get into this, um, a lot of people have heard of Core Impact. They've never actually played with it before. Um, so these videos kind of hone in on how to do certain things within Core Impact more than, hey, look, we exploited another Vista system. So um, don't take this as a, I just watched a cool video on uh, w Windows basically getting exploited. Again, um, take it as a this tool, you know, is a great tool. It's got a lot of great features. And, you know, if you have it already um, and you haven't learned how to use it, you know, take that as an educational thing for you guys to do. So first thing we do, we run a new workspace. Now, as a consultant or somebody that's running this internally, you might want to type in the company name as the, uh, the workspace name and, you know, when your engagement starts and end. Okay, and we'll click on next. You can see our general license here. We've got uh, the ability to exploit or scan systems on non readable networks. So that's great. We'll go ahead and click on next. Now, this passphrase, a lot of people mistaken and they think it's a license for some reason. It's not. It's the passphrase that it, when you're done with this workspace or you're not done with the workspace, and you know, let's say you finished for the end of the day and you haven't completed this, this specific project when you open this workspace up again you're gonna to have to type in this passphrase to unlock it alright so we throw our mouse around we'll click on next and you'll see our contact infos in there and we'll click finish so now our new workspace is open we're ready to go now like I said if you've never used this 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 product before you're gonna notice here that there's six steps um, in order to um, when running a network I guess assessment um, we start off with info gathering so these are logically put together. Info gathering will go out obviously and check out you know what what um, operating system service pack level and so on and so on and what ports are open on a host. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So let's click on that and you'll see a nice little wizard pops up. We click on next. And here we type in our network range or IP address, whatever it may be that we're going to actually gather info from. So we're going to type in 10.58. You can see here, I'm just going to click on custom so you guys can actually have a peek of what you can do. You can use fast TCP, ICMP, you can add in additional ports, you can resolve names of each discovered IP, all that good stuff. We're going to keep them at the dis, uh, the defaults right now and then we're going to go back and choose uh, the fast way as opposed to the custom way. And we'll go ahead and click on finish. All right, so we're gathering information on this specific host, and in a, you know, in a few seconds here, you're actually going to find out that the host is obviously live. One second, three, two, one. There we go. So the host on the network 192.168.10.0 is live. We highlight that right now. The OS and architecture, whether it's i386 or you know something else, is not known. But we're going to find out in a second what type of system we're running. Ports 135 is probably going to be a Windows system, right? All right, so you see now we're running a Windows Vista SP0 system. Probably not a good thing, um, considering there's you know a ton of vulnerabilities to that. So we've got that part done. Our info gathering's done. Let's go ahead and click on network attack and penetration. So this section's another wizard that says, okay, who do you want to target? So now that Core Security knows the host and you know or the hosts on this network that are um, vulnerable, it will throw out the appropriate. Uh, the appropriate exploits to this system. So we'll go ahead and click on next. Under target selection, we'll use 10.58. We'll go ahead and click OK. And click on next again. And here you have some options. Some exploits might leave the target service unavailable. Um, we're going to uncheck one, go next. And you can choose a bunch of different options here, as in reuse the connection as the connection for each agent to be deployed, so on and so on. And you can change, instead of using a random port from 40,001 to 60,000, you can choose 443 and so on. Actually, let's change that to 80. We'll put that to 80, and we'll go ahead and click on Finish. And you'll see now we're running stuff. We're running exploits against this system. Let's see if we succeed. If you see an agent come up under that 10.58 system, that means we've successfully exploited that system so you'll see now this is the cool part guys this is where it's like you know wow so let's see what happens here we right click the agent and say shell and that's it guys look at that you've now got administrative access to the windows uh, windows vista system we've basically exploited it that's how easy it is to do with core security or core impact which is Core Security's product. Thanks a lot for coming out, guys, and we will definitely see you next time.